All right, okay. How is everybody doing today? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And this is the first time I'm recording my voice to share with the world. So I hope I don't sound like a complete moron. Uh, this is also the first video review that I'm doing. And I plan to continue this youtube channel and or a different avenue as well which um i'll keep you guys posted with details on that but today we are going to review the international 9900 by dn modding this is a paid mod and my plan is to go through these paid mods to show you what you get for your money and to see um, that you make your own decisions as to whether or not you want to purchase the mod. Um, it's been my experience that modders don't do a fantastic job at promoting their products and some of them are really fantastic. Um, so that's where we're at. So you're going to go into your mod dealer. select here okay four cab options you get ultra cab sleeper I'll go through these really quick and then we're going to go through them each very detailed studio sleeper which I think is labeled incorrectly but nonetheless And you get a day cab, which gives you the warning. The chassis will get a little bit shorter. It may not look like a lot right now, but you can really make this into a nice looking truck. So that's the three cab options. A chassis. And again, I'll go through these a lot slower. We're going to build up each one. You have the longs. For the other chat or for the other cab, you have a day cab paintable. I think these are um, labeled incorrectly as well, but again, that doesn't really affect things. If you want a uh, sleeper, either one of the sleeper versions with the painted cab, you can do that. Or painted frame, I mean. And this one is a stretched frame, and it kind of lowers the truck a little bit, if you watch the front end especially. Yeah, it goes down a lot. All right. Um, these are the um, standard Creech Bomb sounds. I believe it's from his older pack. These are not the ones from 2.8. We'll go through those. I plan on showing you what each one sounds like. Get some transmission choices here. We'll go through those also. Interiors, there's one. It's a pretty good one, if you ask me. I think it's done very well. Uh, color choices. I always wonder why modders put a million preset colors in. And I guess it's kind of cool sometimes, but with the custom color option, you can pretty much make all the colors that they give you anyway. Um, and we will go through those also. Custom metallics. We can go through those now and show you that they work. 
to bed. Some changes. And wait for D. Mass color. I see that works as well. Kind of blue. Accessories. There's a fair bit of tuning in here. And like I said, interior options, there are some as well. We'll go through those. GPS. All right. So, day cab option. Chassis. You see, it gives you a warning pops up there that it's going to change. I think this one is the. Uh, Painted day cab, you can see in the back. Okay. Uh, the stretch will not work with a day cab, and this one is for a sleeper version. So we're going to go with a non painted. Engines, like I said, we'll go through those. Uh, these are creech pumps, and like I said before, I think we're going to put that one in to start. Missions. We like the 18 speed. Um, you get two 18 speed variants 325 without and 325 with a retarder. We like the without. Interior, like I said, there's only the one. Color options. Accessories. Here's a quick tip that I learned. When you're making your color choices, um, I like to keep the first one because if you're going to add any accessories like painted wheel nuts or painted um, wheels themselves or painted um, hubs and you want to use this same color, it makes it easier to go back and find. So click on that. We'll go down here. I already have red selected, but I'll just show you guys. Select this option here, the first one, and choose keep as a preset. Oftentimes I do it with all three in a row so I know which ones are which. Select that one for the black. Keep as preset. And this one. We'll go to the third selection. Keep as a preset. Then we have our three colors here. From this palette so we don't have to go trying to search or try to match them if we want to paint our um, nuts as he said paint our nuts all right so for bumpers we'll get that one which is kind of a standard the only one you can add in some lights of your own which i do have some light packs in this is not a 100 percent clean profile but i'll let you know what options um, come from the added packs I have in. Kind of a curved bumper. Um, here's one error with the bumpers. You can see through when you look through the back of it. Which I will definitely make them aware of it and I'm sure that'll get fixed. thin bumper and the same as this only you see this changes okay. and then for all the Aussie guys and girls out there we get the bull bar um, right now we're gonna stick with And we're going to put a couple lights on there. And I got the Foreman uh, light pack in a couple of, actually. And we are going to use these. 
these now. These do not come with the mod. Okay. That is your bumper. Headlights. We got three choices. The standard. Custom. Which look really cool actually. And I have not seen these on any other mod that I have or that I know of. And then very similar. Then we're back to stock. We're gonna go with this one. Gorilla. Which if I'm not mistaken means grill. Mesh, a little custom there. Black mesh, and the stock international grill. And this build, we are going to leave it there. Those are your mirrors, your hood mirrors. Unfortunately, with this mod right now, this is the third release of this mod, um, the third update. Um, right now, you can either you can't have left or right. You have mirrors or no mirrors, and the same with this, just a different style. I think we're gonna go with that one. Okay, hood lights. Put in your. Uh, Turn signals on the hoods, or on the fenders, I mean. Those. This is for your air cleaners. You can go the clean look, or you can put air cleaners on. All right, so cab panels. Put on an option, you can add some lights on there. The next one is tanks. With the day cab, you got three choices here. Painted with chrome accents, chrome with chrome, and chrome with painted front and rear, which I think looks really cool. And here's your main mirrors. Right now, there's only one choice. Now, sun visor, one that comes standard, a little bit different. sized. We're going to go with that one because it looks pretty mean. Cabin lights. Uh, let's you select the cab flares. Uh, you can place them where you want. And again, I have some added light packs in, um, but you will definitely get the standard light packs that um, come with all the SCS trucks. It looks pretty cool. Mostly hidden with the sun visor. And I left that one blank because you hit the horns, you get choices for horns, and they fit in that slot. Uh, you won't have that Mac, that's another mod that I have in. Now your beacons, two choices. I love these. I'm raised up on the stainless platform. And 
Those are for your sleeper. A little tight on the fitting, but nonetheless, that's the shoe. This one they do not fit on. So we're going to go back to the day cap beacons. Okay. I'm going to fix our cab panels because I changed um, and added the sleeper. Open the mirrors. Fender and uh, so we get the fender first. Chrome. Chrome tub fenders. That's what I've always heard them called. People call them a lot of different stuff. These are a little ribbed, which I think is cool. Uh, more pronounced rib with the lines. Quarter fenders, deeper quarter fender. Half round, quarter fender, that would be half round. There's a half fender. That's a unique one I have not seen before. When the textures are off on the colored fenders, I believe that's something that will be fixed also before the next release. Uh, same thing here. And we're back to plastic tub fenders. Plastic pull. Plastic rib. This is going to be a work truck, so we are going to go with plastic tub fenders. Plano. It's for your diamond plate. Some options here. Different texture. Smooth. Rear bumper. This one happens to work out perfectly for this type of fender because you wouldn't need a whole fender back there or a whole mud flap, I mean. This would work also. As with this, if you want to put a little bling bling, we're going to go with this. So we're going to do the exhaust for the day cab and show you what you get. Uh, they call it escapes. This right there is the node. Makes it look pretty sharp. Scroll around. Fitting looks good. Kinda. We're going to be technical. A little bit flat, but I think it'll look pretty good anyway. More of a straight pipe with a chino at the top. Now, this one we have a little bit of a fitting issue. Chinos, same thing, uh, angle cut, curved, in fact, uh, more of a proper day cab exhaust. Curved out. A little different.
strip style curved out. Rear. And just a regular flat tab cut. You can see they widened at the top. I think that is it. All right, so that's what we end up with. Uh, I'm not going to do the wheels tires yet. I'll do those when we go through the other chassis and uh, cabs and we'll uh, make a final version here. All right, so in the cabin. what international uses for the exact term but to me that's a flat top um, we'll do the chassis again and we end up with if you click on this one it's going to push us back to a day cab see it shows studio sleeper needs to be removed so we're not going to do that kicks us back to where Same thing. We can jump in a little bit. Um, we can have the paintable. This looks pretty cool. Something I wish when they make a paintable chassis, I wish they would allow you to select a color. And I don't believe that happens here. You know, some I have seen there is a fourth color. And it will work for the chassis, but not in this case. Go back to the chassis. Um, you can stretch this one. So it'll be stretched and lowered. So we'll build one like that. So we're going to go back to the long 220s. Now, I'll show you there are some changes in this one. You can use some of the different exhaust stacks in this one because the frame is longer. Um, some of the tank options allow you to push the tank back. Okay, so we're gonna go back here to options, accessories. And we are going to go back down to tanks. This is our standard. Extended it a little bit. Moves your tank up here. Paints your tank with stainless straps. Longer tank, stainless straps. But you'll see that space in there is where we're going to fit those straight pipes. Stainless, stainless with painted ends. Again, we'll move our tanks up front so that they are chromed or stainless. Shorties. Long stacks or long tanks pushed closer though, so you will not get away with using the straight stacks. So if you want to use the straight stacks, you gotta remember to keep the tanks to your tank choice for the ones that are a little further back. All the way forward with painted ends. Painted ends, short tank, push forward. Longer tank painted. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna build one of these with the Stacks straight pipes, so I can show you how that goes. So I'm gonna go back and find. Okay, that's one of our options. Another one. 
painted ends. I like those painted ends. So we're gonna do that. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the stacks. There you have it. shorts these would also look great if we went back I don't think this is gonna mess things up but it might if I choose an ultra cap no it's not mess things up Um, the only change, so on a studio sleeper, as they have it labeled, I guess let's go back to accessories. Your beacons are the only things that change between this flat top slash studio sleeper and your ultra cab sleeper. <clears throat> so we're going to stay here. With this now, and I will show you in a bit what you can what you can change. The beacons. Okay, now beacon position two. Just the beacons attached to the sleeper. Little bit of fitting error, maybe they're a little squished. Maybe pulled out a little bit, fellas. Away from the truck. Main mirrors, everything else is the same. All your other options are the same. Uh, your cab panels also change. I forgot about that. You select your cab panel, which also gives you one for the sleeper. Uh, this one, I think, is the same also. Uh, that's That does change. When you add um, the sleeper position, it gives you uh, this back here, down in the plate, behind the fifth wheel. So we're going to keep that like that for this drive. And I think that's it. on the interior and let's check and see and make sure we have a sleeper back there and we do and it is the correct sleeper so if we go back and select the studio we can see what happens our beacons are going to get screwed up but that's all right i'm just trying to see what the sleeper looks like inside okay it is correct no windows up here Look shorter or anything. Interior. Okay. So great job, Dean, on modding. Okay. Options on the interior. Change your steering wheel. Um, it, it's labeled as a Kenworth. I believe that's an error also. They probably just used. Um, Model. And this is a steering wheel pack that I have in. Uh, we're going to leave the international on there. Um, dashboard sets changes the puts um, this leather material up there. Some different colors: red, pinkish, bluish, or a black. Um, that we might change in a minute because I'm going to change the paint job. Does come with some accessories from the Sissel pack. We don't need that pack. These 
I'll come with. Shield sets. Put stuff on the glass. We are not going to do that, but this is what you can get. Get rid of that. And for the time being, the GPS is set in this spot here. Um, I have suggested that they move it over here so it's not blocking your view driving we're gonna actually get rid of that for now and these are your visor or a CB radio uh, the icons don't show but the CB will show up blue background cyan green orange you can read through these I'm not going to leave a CB in there because, again, as I'm playing, that's annoying as anything. I never leave a CB in my trucks that I build. But you do have the options if you want to. With all matching colors, if you want to match your uh, the paint on your truck, gives you a wood background on the CB, different colors. That says camo, but you can kind of see it's a little camo a little bit. And we're going to get rid of that. All right, actually, I was just messaging back and forth with the D and modding this morning while I was making this video, uh, and he did confirm that on the next update, um, the GPS will get moved, so your GPS will end up over here on the next update. Which I do not know exactly when will be coming, but... Uh, there are some pretty exciting things coming for the next update for this truck as well. Uh, I'm not going to share what that is yet, because I don't know if they're publicly announcing it, but... Um, you'll get some new new things that are pretty cool. Alright. And I think the interior is done pretty well. Alright, we're back on the outside here. Um, I'm going to show you this hot flames paint job. Uh, it's not actually hot flames, but it is pretty cool. You may like it. Um, so you get to choose the base color here, which Play with while I'm on recording this with you guys. Let's see. I think we're going to go back with our red for the outside. Uh, this gray changes the stripe on the inside. And let's go and use black for that. What do you think? pretty sharp. And for the rest of our ride, I'm also going to change the sleeper. Back to the flat top. And then we're going to go back to our beacons. Yeah, blue cam. See the horns. issue. But again, honestly, I mean, between the braces for the stacks, I mean, I'm being very picky. I think it's not going to go. So we're going to change our wheels. I have some wheel packs in also. Um, you're going to get the standard wheels that you would get with just about any mod. Um, of these, I'm not 100% sure which ones 
come with the truck. I know obviously these Mac do not come with it. That's another mod that I have in. We'll get to that later time. Um, but for now, I'm going to use these Alcoas. And choose Painted Hub. I'm going to use the black. Click Cover. Now I'll go to Standard. Red. And for our nuts, I'm going to choose the Paintable. Hyperion. back and fix our flare caps. And our side flares come back. Curl cap P5s. Painted hub is black. We're going to leave it black anyway. And we are going to put a cover on. Let's put those in red. Right, so for this truck, I like these wide Michelins. Let's go back and pick the Michelins back here. Eighties, I think, are going to clip through the fender. Yeah, they did not. They may when we hit some bumps, but I like the taller, beefier trucks. All right, put Michelin's all around. So oh, there's what we got. You guys ready to hear some engines? Feels pretty darn good. Uh, okay. Alright, also we're gonna go back and change our grill. I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, the windows are tinted some, which I think is pretty cool also. That's a pretty good look on it. All right, we're going to talk about engine sounds. So we get Cat, Cummins, and Packar in here. I'm not sure I'll do a good job explaining this because I am not a modder. But for me, engine sounds are pretty important in the game. Um, so I know a little bit about them. Um, we're going to go with the pack car first. Um, so in these mods, engine sounds... are oftentimes one sound. So even though this Packar MX-13 is a 485 horse, this one that's 455 and this one that's 500 horse, they're going to sound exactly the same. Um, in most cases, they will perform differently based on the horsepower and uh, torque, just like in real life. And I've experienced that plenty playing the game. Um, a lot of times I like to use a lower horsepower motor um, to pull heavy loads. It makes the game more interesting. Um, but anyway, 
So all three of these engines, even though they're different horsepower and different torque, they're going to sound the same. So we're going to just pick this one just to test and let you guys hear what it sounds like. Uh, what all three of them will sound like. All right, we are back at the shop, and we're going to hear these engine sounds. <laughs> That was our pack car. So we're going to check out cat engines. Okay. We had C15s and 3406. Um, again, most modders use one sound per engine. That's not the case every time. And as I go through and review different mods, I will show you and let you hear the ones that are different. But in this case, all of the C-15s sound the same. Um, we put in C-15. All of these C-15s are going to sound the same. I already tested them. Um, so in this particular mod, like I said, these are standard Creek foam sounds. So we'll just pick the 450. back in the shop and we're going to hear the 3406 uh, again two different horsepowers this is 3406 and 3406 e but I can tell you right now they sound the same one engine sound was used for um, both of the 3406 variants that are shown here. 
go with the 475, which is what the engine came with, the standard. back in the shop and now we are going to go through the Cummins sounds and honestly the ISX I think is the least cool so we're going to do that one first um, same thing here ISX 12 ISX 15 they all three sound the same So what other Cummins do we have? We got uh, N14 select bus, 444, a couple of those. We'll do those now. Again, both of these horsepower is on the same.
right, we're back in the shop here. I'm gonna pick the next Cummins. All right, we got standard N14. Search for that. All right, we got a N14. The standard N14s will sound exactly the same. Uh, the Select Plus does sound different, whether it's chipped or not. Um, so we're going to go standard N14. Shop. Uh, I think this is the last engine that we gotta do here. Oops. The select plus. We're gonna choose the chipped. Because, like I said, it's gonna play the same uh, sound. enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you will like and subscribe and click that bell to be notified when I update their mod or release another video. I'll have some other information.